So in this video I'm going to show you how you can get rid of the void world in your level and replace it with this generated stone gradient. So as per normal we're going to need some other tools like the mod kit master, um, dungeons and a text editor basically. I'm not going to go through them now, I have put the link in the description. There is other videos with all this information in if you haven't been following. So let's get started. So we're going to jump straight into the dungeons modding folder. We're going to go modding, we're going to go dungeons mod kit master, dungeons, content, data, Lovica and levels. We're going to load up our Archhaven level now. If you don't know what we're going to do really on this video, I will show you. Um, so if we go into here, into our void world, when it loads up, basically we are going to um, we're going to add stuff that goes all the way around it so that it's not hanging there in blackness because at the moment our map is just hanging in blackness and it doesn't look very pretty I mean it can be all right for some but we're going to add it so that it looks like it's one world so we don't actually need that so the way that we do this is we load up the level JSON now our level JSON is archhaven.json and we're going to need to put something new in here but at the bottom under whatever one you've got at the bottom we are going to have to need to add some code so we're going to need to put a comma after that square brace and we're going to have to paste this in here um, I'll paste it because it's quicker for me um, you're going to have to type it or copy it out of the description is entirely up to you so basically what we're going to do is we're going to set a world gradient so the world gradient works off of the stone block generally and it is determined by 15 iterations so depending on how many gaps you want your iterations or gradient to be depending on what number you put here so it will go from light to dark so if you wanted the quickest way of going from light to dark you would put one 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 you can put about 15 I believe but I'm not going to put too many in there so I'm just going to do it just to show you I'm going to put one and then I'm going to put two and then three and then four and then five and then six and then seven well actually I might just chuck that to one to see if it works and I'm going to get rid of these because I don't want all of them now if you don't want all of them that's absolutely fine you can put as many or as little as you want in there so what we're saying here is that the first gradient will be width of one the second one will be two and the third one will be three the fourth one would be five the fifth one would be five widths and then the sixth one will be only one block width wide and then it will jump straight to seven um the last one will continue forever so i wouldn't worry about that we can then save this and we can go back to our level folder here back to dungeons mod kit master and we can click package it's as simple as that there is nothing else to do um i have noticed one error that i just put out because this comma here needs to go because it's at the end there's nothing else underneath it we need to get rid of that comma so we need to repackage up so as soon as that package is done we can then continue and load up dungeons so here we go our dungeons is loaded up we are going to go into mission select and we're going to choose our level of arch haven so this should load up and it should look a little bit different than we've been seeing in the past there should be no black void or whatever you want to call it around our map it should be all stone so as we load in you can see the stone here has loaded up and you can see that it is a gradient going to darker now it is a random gradient as in some of it does um bleed out onto other ones but you can see here that the gradient is changing and changing and changing and getting darker and darker and darker so that is our accomplished tutorial for today it was quite easy to do it's no strain it's not strenuous the only other thing that it does do is sometimes it adds bits into your map here where it's a bit low and a bit weird through the doors and other things but that's not a problem it's just what it is you've just got to bear with it and it sort of makes your level a bit more interesting and random so as you can see our level now looks like we're in some sort of dungeon slash cave and we can kill the mobs at the end and we go through oh there's another one go through the door and we are done so that is known as a fill or gradient on the, the world 
Um, there's not much else to do on that. It's pretty much it. It is quite simple and quite straightforward. Now, if you haven't already checked out the Aduku Craft Discord server, I suggest to do so. Those guys there are knowledgeable and will help you with pretty much anything to get dungeons in a modding state if you're having troubles. Or if you just want to know some information on how to do something, they are definitely the guys to go and speak to. These videos would not be possible without the uh, Aduku Craft Discord server and the members there. So a big thanks to them. So anyway, that is our video for now. Hopefully it is been a worthwhile watch it's only a quick one um, I'll make some more and I'll get some more content out there for anyone else who wants to learn how to mod maps and make changes to the dungeons game so anyway thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more videos and I will catch you again soon